Why not a plane? Sounds like a really uh, crappy, low-budget version of snakes on a plane. But uh, why not a plane? So you're traveling, thinking about traveling with wine. You're either you know going to your destination, from your destination. You're you know going to I don't know wherever. You're coming back from Napa, you know, whatever. You want to take wine on a plane. Hand luggage is the first thing. Hand luggage, uh, you can still, as of 2012, not take your own wine in your hand luggage. So I'm just kind of warning you because, you know, how sucky would that be if you put your wine in your hand luggage and then get it taken off you by TSA. Now, a lot of these wineries are coming out with these like sampler bottles, uh, these kind of mini sort of, you know, set up your own wine tasting kind of, kind of bottles. Uh, and those, I believe, should probably be below the, uh, the limits. You could actually probably get those past security. The only problem is don't even try and open those on the plane itself because uh, federal regulations still prohibit that you're not allowed to serve your own alcohol. You know, for obvious reasons. They want to sell it to you themselves. Uh, next thing, so hand luggage out of the way. Your uh, actual main cabin on a plane is, uh, is pressurized and thank God, you know, because that's a really crappy way to either start or end your vacation is, uh, is being dead. So your main cabin is always pressurized. The, uh, the actual storage cabin, your, uh, your, your like baggage compartment, is, from what I know, uh, most of the time not pressurized. So that's something you've got to deal with if you're, if you're bringing wine back from you know, California, or Europe, whatever. That you're going to have changes in, uh, in air temperature, you're going to have changes in, in pressure. That's something to bear in mind. The main way I like to think about it is that when all said and done, you've, you know, you've wrapped up your wines, um, and you know, put them in your suitcase. Just think to yourself, you know, if I just went and kind of, you know, smashed that bottle with a hammer and it leaked, uh, what would the problems be? Obviously, if you go into your destination and the bottle, you know, leaked everywhere, went all, you know, all through your packaging that you've you know, nice and nice and neatly done, what would the problems be? Would you have no clothes to wear on vacation? Or is it just maybe worth spending the few extra dollars and getting to your destination and and buying, you know, some wine? So. Just kind of something to bear in mind. For the most part, a lot of wineries in California will actually ship out to you. 99% of the time the wines are available in your home state anyway. So traveling with wine, just a few things to bear in mind.